guys, it's Sam. I just wanted to jump on and share with you a bit of a haul video today that I got from scrapbook.com. I got charged. This is the first time I've ever ordered stuff from the States and got charged, which is rubbish, but I suppose everyone's going to get it eventually. So I had to pay customs on this, which is annoying because I thought I'd spent enough already. But it actually cost me another £14 when it came to this end, so that's a little bit annoying. But I have ordered from them before and not had a problem, so I think they just do random checks, if I'm honest. Um, but anyway, forget the moan. I'm going to get straight in. So I got all this goodness. Let me just unpack it all for you. Okay, so it comes in two great big kind of plastic wrappers which make lots of noise and they're really, really glary. So I'm just going to take them out of all the packaging for you. Okay, so that's everything. I'm really sorry, guys, but I've just realised that these haven't got, I haven't got a receipt with the prices on, so I'm not sure how much everything was for these, but I'll put everything in the description box below. So I will dive straight in. What I was looking for was some scrapbooking stuff to scrap some of my wedding photos. So to give you an idea, I've got a picture. You can see everything was kind of cream and neutral and a lot of greenery and the boys wear blue. So I was kind of looking for golds and creams and greens and couldn't find anything anywhere in the UK. So I jumped online um, and went on scrapbook.com and found this range from Bow Bunny, which is called Garden Party Collection. And it is just perfect, absolutely perfect for the wedding. So I went on um, a couple of weeks ago and they were having a sale. So I just grabbed tons of bits. And like I said, I will put all of the prices in the description box for you. So I'll just run through what we got. I'll move these out of the way. What I got even, what we got. So the first thing I picked up was this 6x6 paper pad. I'm going to be scrapping in um, an 8x8 album, but don't think that matters. I'm just going to open that up. Okay, so this is the 6x6 pad. And like I said, I'm going to be doing it in 8x8, um, but I'm just going to use this for layering and cutting bits out of. But I'll start from the front because it doesn't want to flip. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. The mason jars, absolutely in love with that. The cactuses, maybe not wedding -y, but I can use those in my planning and scrapbooking. That's not a problem. Love the string lights. Love these sort of patterns just for, again, for layering and kind of matting my papers on, my photos on. This kind of a mixture of all of them. And this gorgeous green one. That pattern's just beautiful. And that one, oh, that's just gorgeous. I love all the foliage on there. More cactuses. I love the cactuses and succulents. I absolutely do, but they're going to have to go in Project Life. They're not very wedding-y. These ones are, though. I mean, just how gorgeous that's going to be with the, oh. I can't wait, I can't wait. I've never done traditional scrapbooking, but honestly, can't wait to get into it. And then look at that marble. And then there's that grey pattern. And cactuses. I love the little chandelier in that as well. And then we're back and it repeats again. So absolutely in love with that. And it repeats three times, I think. So tons and tons and tons in there. I don't think it says. 36 pages. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and then I'll do the ephemera pack last. I grabbed some, um, to obviously 12 by 12 because I'm going to be scrapping 8 by 8. But I got, well, I'm going to show you this one first actually. I picked up this uh, 12 by 12 pack, which was 20 sheets double sided. So I kind of got one of everything, which again is just stunning. And there's some extras in here that aren't in the 6 by 6. So let's dive straight in. Obviously, you've got that one, which is in the 6 by 6. Just love that so much. I can't say whether I'm going to fussy cut these or just use it as a background paper because it's stunning. And then that's on the back, which I thought would be, be absolutely beautiful for some of the nighttime ones as well because it was we got married in October, so it was quite dark and sparkly lights and twinkly. So that would be beautiful for that. And then I got the cut apart sheet, and this is all. I mean, it's happily ever after, love story, celebrate. It is all weddingy. Love is in the air, and the pictures are just beautiful, absolutely stunning. And that's cactuses on the back, which I don't need. Some more of those kind of string light ones. And some are white and some are yellow. So it's a really nice kind of effect to it. A big pattern on the back. That's that one with all the patterns on. I mean, this it's just stunning. I'll try and go through it quick because I know not everyone likes the papers. Um, this one's really beautiful as well with the white roses on. I'm really looking forward to using that one. And some brick. Another cut apart sheet, which has just got some of the sort of details on. It's got some banner flags and some swirls and labels. I love this kind of, I, don't, I want to call it a wreath, it's not, but whatever it is, kind of garlandy thing. Uh, love is all you need. I love the logs as well. We had those on the table, so that would be perfect. Some more mason jars I can cut out, little labels. and It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But the back's beautiful as well. Look at those. Absolutely stunning. And you could fussy cut all those and make a nice cluster with them as well. Big version of that green. Um, cactuses, they are gorgeous. I mean, look, they are absolutely stunning. Um, I do Coco Daisy as well, and the November kit was 
cactuses and succulents. It would have been perfect, but we're into December now, don't mind. Another one of those. And the marble, oh, look at that. And then this I absolutely love, kind of giant log with the florals on. I love it, but like I said, I'm not, I've not done scrapbooking, so that's quite intimidating. That's a lot of pattern to work with, so I think I prefer white paper, but we'll see how I go on with that. I could always cut the greeny bit off around it so it's got a white border, maybe. I'll have a look. And then there's that green, that's really nice as well. That grey pattern, it looks a bit purpley on camera, but it is grey, promise. <laughs> there's no purples. I'm kind of succulent. There's no purple, she says, as she turns it over, the succulents in purple. They are purple, but the other one isn't. <laughs> And I got another one of those uh, mason jars. There's a couple in here. Oh, I think they're all in here twice, actually. I think it's a double set. Let me just have a quick flick. Yep, double set. So I got all of those twice. So that's awesome. I've got two of everything there. And I've got about 3,000 photos. So that's a good start. <laughs> but I did grab some of my favourites again, because why not? So I got another piece of those cut apart. I actually got two more of those. I'm not going to lie, I got two more cut apart ones with the florals, just because I know I'm going to use those on every layout, they're just stunning. And as well I got two of the um, kind of journaling card ones, because I'm actually doing two books from, that's got the cactus on the back, two albums, because someone bought me a scrapbook album, a 12 by 12 one, so I'm going to scrap all of my um, professional photos in there, and then I've bought myself a smaller 8x8 to do all the ones that people took on their phones and things, so I've actually got two albums on the go, so I know I'm going to use lots of these. And then I picked up the ephemera pack as well, and this annoyed me a little bit because I couldn't actually find out what was in it properly, so I'm just going to open it up. I'm just going to move the card so that I can tip them out so we can see. But it didn't, I couldn't find any photos online or anything that kind of showed the contents, but I thought, I know I'm going to want plenty of ephemera, so... And it obviously all coordinates, so I grabbed one. But whether I don't know whether I might need another one of these or what depends how much you get and what's in it and whether I'll use it. So I thought I'd just pick one up and see what's in it, basically, because it doesn't really tell you. So these are really cute. There's all these little buttons, which are really, really sweet. Okay, so all falling out a bit of a jumble. Okay, so I've got a couple of loose buttons, which are really cute, actually. I love those. And one kind of big gem, which I'm not really a gem type person, but in between everything else I think it might look quite cute some nice they're just completely plain both sides but they're really cute I like those I love the green so they'll be coming handy so I'll use them and then oh these are cute let me just open those okay so you get these little like two by two cards on craft paper so well, they're quite sweet oh you get two of each and they're double sided they'll be really nice oh there's three of that one Oh, they're really sweet. I like those. Just a little kind of labelling and journal spots and things. And Oh, that's cute. I like that one. Oh, love. Oh, I'm glad I got these. These are really sweet. I like those. Yeah, these are going to go perfectly. So that's perfect. So I can, again, use them for layering or labelling little journal spots. Maybe not the bricks. But they're really cute. I like those. And then you get some bigger ones as well. So these look like they might be 3x3 three three and 4x4. Four four. Come on, focus little labels and journal spots. Oh, I like the leaf. I'm doing a nature-themed junk journal as well, so some of these might disappear into there. Oh, but they're so pretty. They're really cute. I like these a lot. Oh, look at that floral. Dream big. Yeah, so they're really cool. I like those. I kind of wanted more pieces of cut-out ephemera, but I've got enough fussy cuttable papers. Is that a word, fussy cuttable? It is now. So there we go. Beautiful. All of the little banners. Just wants a bit of decorating that doesn't it and click we had a photo booth as well so that might go really nicely on some of those pages and the 8x8 album that i bought um to do the kind of everyone's phone pictures on i got oh look at that that's definitely going in my wildlife journal um it's got i've got some 8x8 page protectors and then i've got some that are split into 4x4s so they'll be fab for those what else did i get okay i got this little pack of more buttons that are on these little like wooden Flags, oh, they're cute. You can make a little banner with those. They're awesome. Again, they're probably my nature themed rather than wedding, but you can definitely use some of these buttons and stars, and they're really sweet. I love those little buttons. And then I got two pieces, two pieces, two pages of stickers. They're cute. I might be able to use some of these sort of smile labels and I love you forever, memories, you and I, life. Yeah, I can definitely use some of these. Choose happiness. Yeah, they're really cute. I like those. The only thing I don't like is they're really shiny. 
but I think they're clear, so hopefully when I put them on the page they don't look too shiny. And then some little alphabets as well, the kind of like old fashioned font. Quite like those. And then, oh, hiding two buttons under there and a gem. And I got some smaller pieces of paper. Are they double sided? Oh, they are. Well, they'll be cool for kind of matting as well. That's a nice one. Piano keys for your music. Yeah, so these will just make some really nice kind of layers. Come on, focus. Ooh, purple. See, there wasn't purple until I said there was no purple. Now it's appeared. But I do quite like them. And that's nice, just sort of like some old picture frames. So I'll maybe not use the purple side on that one, but they are really cute. And then I think these are the same prints, but just a bigger page of them. Yeah, they are. So some nice extra bits of paper. Ooh, purple. So I need to fussy cut out all of the flowers and hearts and banners and things I've got from the other one but this should keep me going for quite a while I think it'll be perfect for wedding album this one to be honest so it's a shame that they don't do kind of ephemera packs as in you know like like this if you like I'm gonna have to sit and fussy cut all these but you know with pieces like this in and the labels and tags and things I don't think they do I've not been able to find any if anyone's got any ideas please let me know or if you know anything that would match this really well in terms of ephemera and kind of layering things up and little bits of detail let me know uh, but that's everything i got guys so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time bye